Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, this past week, Freya did come down with her first cold. Everybody was actually sick in my family, um, but we're all feeling much better. But seeing your baby hurting is the absolute worst, and as a first-time parent, can be very scary. So today, I just wanted to share some quick um, home remedies with you guys for your baby's first cold, and just some overall things that you can do to help them out. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for new videos that I post weekly. The first thing that you're going to want to do when your baby is sick is to take their temperature pretty regularly so they're not um, running fever because that can be very dangerous for your infant, especially if you have like a zero to three month old. The thermometers that I like to use is just this forehead thermometer, especially when she was sleeping, it was really easy to just kind of, you know, check to make sure that everything was good. I know a lot of people argue that these aren't accurate and you should be using like the um, rectal thermometers. I um, didn't have to use this on Freya this time around when she was sick. I like to have one, I think I put it on my baby registry um, and that's why I still have it, but I've always just used my um, forehead thermometer. She did run hot um, a few nights, so I just treated her with some Tylenol to dose your baby. You know, it has it like on the bottle, I believe, but you could definitely talk to your healthcare provider or even look it up online. It does go by your baby's weight and their age, so keep that in mind when you're giving Tylenol. It did really seem to help her um, sleep better as well. She's also teething, so the pain from that and then the cold is just kind of like the perfect storm, so giving her the Tylenol um, a few nights in a row did really help for her something she absolutely hated but was necessary a few nights she was just so congested and like uh i felt so bad for her because she was like snoring when she slept um but i did have to suction her a few times thankfully i didn't have to use this um the bulb syringe i did just use the freedom mom nose aspirator with some um little remedies saline uh, drops so basically I just did like a saline lavage where I just put this in her nose first and then I, um, you put this in your mouth and there's a tiny filter and these are replaceable. But you put it in the nose, Frida, like so. And this just filters like any of the snot that would come up when you actually suck it out of your baby's nose. So kind of gross, but this thing helped so much. And it was so like, you know, rewarding seeing all that stuff come out of her nose and just hearing her breathe better afterwards. So for me, it was like, you know, I did not care at all because it was helping her, but it is kind of gross. Something else I used was this um, Frida Breathe. It just came with like the whole pack of the um, sick baby kind of kit that I got that was on my baby registry. It, I believe it had the um, nose aspirator, this um, like, it's kind of like a vapor rub kind of thing for a baby. And then it also had some saline drops that I had already used previously. So a really great kit for a new mom or dad expecting. I'll have it linked in the description below. I also used some of this Highlands homeopathic mucus and cold relief um, a few nights for Freya and it seemed to help a little bit so um, this is something cool if you don't feel comfortable giving your child um, Tylenol or anything like that and you want to try something homeopathic first. Sleep is key to helping your baby fight off a cold. Freya sleeps with us so the extra cuddles and comfort were much needed. Also in the bedroom I have been running our cool mist humidifier. Adding extra moisture to the air really helps with a cold. My poor baby, she was so congested. So to help her breathe a little bit easier, I closed all the doors in our bathroom and then I ran a hot shower with some eucalyptus oil. And then once it got really nice and steamy, I sat with her in the shower for about 10 to 15 minutes. This really did make a difference and especially before bedtime, it really did help her get to sleep easier and more comfortably. Nursing and offering more liquids will help to thin out baby's mucus and prevent dehydration. Freya didn't really want to eat, but offering nutritious foods like sweet potato, carrots, and chicken soup will also help your baby recover faster. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Since you clicked on it, I am assuming that your baby or a loved ones is sick and I am sending all the healing energy your way and I am hoping that they are better very soon. Um, but just keep in mind, I am not a doctor and if your baby is running a very high temperature or you just feel like something is not right, um, please seek medical attention. But for treating your baby's first cold at home, these things worked very well for us. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more motherhood content. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.